White Christmas by Lily Venables Blankets of glistening pristine snow line the streets, untouched by human hands. The winter sun gleaming off the icy trails. Snowflakes continue to fall, each different from the last, adding to the layers which had descended over the island. Still, I stand, my face bearing a gleaming smile my hat and scarf protecting me from the crisp winter morning. Looking forward to the day ahead, I reminisce yesterday, the best time of my life. Joy lit up their faces as they raced out of their homes towards the pure whiteness which had settled overnight. The children dived deep into the ground, creating perfect snow angels. Quickly I began to take shape my arms and eyes carefully positioned by my caressing companions, making me the best snowman in all the land. I was loved by them all. But then they ran away. I thought they would never return. I was afraid I was just going to be left out in the cold. But then they came back, arms full of the finest array of coloured hats and scarves. Rushing through the snow, they greeted me with a warm, loving embrace melting my heart. Swiftly dressed in vibrant, vivid accessories, hat, gloves, scarf, the full works. Carefully, an ideal carrot was positioned onto my face, providing me with a sense of smell. Christmas filled the air, pine trees and snow and happiness. I could tell it was getting late because the sky was quickly darkening. My friends gave me one last hug and hurried indoors, greeted by their mother. As I stood outside, I could see my buddies waving at me vigorously through the window. A huge smile formed on my face, spreading from side to side. The curtains were then shut. As I stand here now, excitement runs through my body and I excitedly wait for my friends once more. The curtains open, but they don't wave. They look out into the distance, as if looking straight through me. The door handle turns and they stream out, but rush straight past me. Grabbing their bikes, they race up and down the street, almost knocking me over on the way. Their eyes don't meet mine once. Why do my friends hate me? A shocking pain runs through my body. What's happened? I glance up and realise that their bike has been ridden right through me. How could they do that? We're friends. My insides melt. They feel like water running endlessly. My eye level drops and in that moment I realise. I realise I'm not a figure anymore. I am no longer standing. I have melted drip by drip, the sun chipping away at every inch of me. I am no longer one of their friends. I have been forgotten, unrecognised and unimportant. Because now I am but a mere puddle on the ground, slowly melting away. <laughs>